Hi, in this problem we have to evaluate this limit. So we have x squared minus 2cx plus c squared, all divided by x minus c. So we should be able to factor this somehow. Let's go ahead and try to do it. By the way, the first thing you should always try to do when evaluating limits is plug in the c. But in this case, as you can see here, you end up with c minus c. So you end up with zero on the bottom. So that's why we have to try something else. So let's see, we have x minus c on the bottom. And if we're going to factor this, uh, it's probably going to look like this. So that's because x times x is equal to x squared. So we need two numbers that multiply to c. So how about c and c, right? c times c is c squared. And the middle term has to be negative. So I think we should make both of these negatives. And now let's go ahead and check to see if our guess is actually correct. So let's see, x times x is x squared. That part's easy. Negative c times negative c, that's positive c squared. No problems there. The middle term is negative cx. The outer term is negative cx. When you add them up, you get negative 2cx. So this looks okay. This cancels, so we have the limit as x approaches c and we're just left with an x minus c. At this point, we can actually plug in the c and there's no issues with dividing by zero. Recall that whenever you plug in the number for a limit, you drop the limit sign, and now we will replace the x with a c, so c minus c, and that's equal to zero. And so that would be the answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.